gonna hit the opening string by itself. Then you hold the two middle strings down with one finger here like this. Hammer on the D string at this fret with these two strings. And then you hit the, uh, the A string here at the same fret. So it's... So I'm hitting both of these. Then I'm hitting this one. Then I'm hitting these two. And then the other part um, is like a split bar chord. You don't, you mute the middle string, so all you're hearing are these two strings. So you go. Starting at the seventh fret, slide up to the ninth, then go to the twelfth, eleventh, ninth, seventh, and then open E, low E by itself. Same riff again. Split bar chord at the seventh fret root note. Then you go down to G root note split bar chord. Then up to A fifth fret. Low E open again with the other strings muted. So it's low E. Third fret, sorry. Fifth fret A. Then on the verse, it's hitting the two middle strings, muting the other strings at this fret here. So it's... You might be able to let this one ring, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Then I hit the uh, seventh fret here. Still holding these two middle strings. Then I move up with my middle finger to the ninth fret. Still, again, holding these two. It's important to hit the low notes, like the lower strings, emphasize on the lower strings at the first part on the, and then follow up by emphasizing on the higher strings on the second part of the stroke, like. Um, I don't know, to get it to sound better. At the intro, I mean, you're going to play that same thing with the A bar chord to the uh, B bar chord. But then you're going to start here at the 9th fret and go hammer on to the 12th. So you're going to bounce off the 12th 
and then hit the B string at the 12th. Do the same thing, bounce off the 12th again, but hit the, uh, the G string at the 11th. So it's... Open E string, so that's the intro.